Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Silk issue number seven. Now this is also a continuation to the Spider-Woman series. And I have to say, I actually really enjoying this series. Um, I like the fact that they're taking from each universe and they're bringing them all together. And I really do appreciate that. Silk, she runs away. She thinks about her family on this Earth 65. And uh, that's really what's going on here. All three are stuck on Earth 65. They can't get home. So Silk runs away and says, you know what? Since I'm here, I'm gonna go see my family. She thinks it's going to be a great idea. She thinks her family's going to miss her and everything's going to be all right. When she gets there, her family was not feeling her at all. Um, the brother is, but the mom and dad were yelling at her, screaming at her. How dare you come here? We haven't seen you in six years, blah, blah, blah. The art for Silk, once again, is just so bad. I mean, this is how they're drawing Silk now. They used to draw her so beautifully. I mean, she was pretty much the best looking um, female, in my opinion, of the whole Marvel Universe. And now they've just destroyed her after every single issue. They continue to do this and they never change the artist like they said they were going to. Now, Silk does find her address from her brother and she goes to where this Silk lives in Earth 65. Now, in Earth 65, she is rich. Her house is a mansion. Look at these beautiful bathrooms. I mean, the window is excellent. Everything about it is so squeaky clean. Now, when she looks into the mirror, it opens a passageway. It identifies her eye. I really like that. I thought that was pretty James Bond. That's really nice looking. The story did begin to pick up, um, and I'm very happy about that because Spider-Woman, they were starting to plant that seed a little bit, you know, and then Silk, they carried it on. Now, one thing to mention, Silk, they pretty much stay with Silk, right? So they talk about her family, talk about her problems, and then they mention everybody else in there as well. I'd say like 30% of the time, but really it's all about Silk in this issue. Now, if you're going to go ahead and get the Spider-Gwen, I would assume it's all about Spider-Gwen. And then there is the mentioning of the Spider-Woman and they're setting it up piece by piece. But I really do appreciate that because I'm not interested in Spider-Woman. So for me, reading about specifically Silk and then Spider-Woman is great for me. So behind this tunnel or door or whatever you want to call it, there's the word Silk on 40 or 50 monitors everywhere. You see the words pollution. You see evil eyes, your oil spills. You're like, what in the world is going on here? It looks like Silk is an agent or something. Like, we have no idea. Is she a villain? Uh, I mean, is she a hero? Like, why is Silk's name everywhere like this? So her assistant, he's holding a squid. He says, hey there, Miss Moon. And she just pushes him away. And he asks her all these questions and says, hey, you know, the pollution thing you wanted, it worked out well. And she says, okay, 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 bye, 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 bye. Silk's really trying not to be suspicious here. And, you know, the assistant, the squid dude, he's really confused. He's like, what is going on with her? She slams the door on his face. And they flash over to Cindy. They flash over to Stacy Gwynn and Spider-Woman. And here they're getting this younger teenager to make them something. And they do say it's Reed Richards. So you're like, wow, what is going on here? This is the Reed Richard in Earth 65. That's really cool because usually, you know, he's a Caucasian guy. Now he's an African male. So I'm like, you could really notice by the sideburn. Even before I read it, I noticed that immediately. And he's building all the stuff. So that's really cool. I wonder how the Fantastic Four or, you know, specifically Reed Richards going to play into all this. Um, I would assume that he's going to be making them the gadget so they can get back to their world because he is a genius. But... I don't know how smart he was at this age. Now here, the flash is over and Silk needs help because she can't get anything to work into this new area, right? It's all voice activated, but she doesn't know exactly what to say. So she calls up Spider-Woman and Spider-Woman's acting like a mom. And I guess that's really her role because she just had a kid and everything. I'm not really feeling Spider-Woman in this one. I don't really like Spider-Woman, man. I don't really like that motherly feel, that baby thing. I'm, I'm just not feeling that. And uh, look how poorly drawn she is in this bottom left panel. Look at that, man. That is just terrible. And then, I mean, look at this bottom right one. Gwen Stacy looks so poorly drawn. I think I could probably draw better than that when I was in like seventh grade. I really don't understand what this artist was trying to do. I think they probably have more skill than they're showing, but they're intentionally making this art style terrible. Here's one of the better scenes. Silk ends up getting something wrong. Silk always does something wrong or is in danger, if you haven't ever noticed. She tells the squid guy, hey, you know, squid guy, get out of here. She's like, it's not a squid. It's an octopus. Now that he mentions it's an octopus, I'm like, oh, crap, that's got to be Doc Ock, right? 
And she, he actually mentioned a little bit earlier that she was um, a villain. So I'm very interested to see, you know, how is Silk 65 on Earth 65 a villain? You know, that's going to be really cool. She has all these people working for her. She's got this Dr. Octopus and everything. And now she's captured. So what is the real Silk going to say when she finds her? Is she going to want to eat her? Is she want to kill her? Does she want her to join her? I think there's a lot of potential here. All in all, I really did enjoy this issue. It was a lot better than Spider-Woman, um, but I would say you have to read Spider-Woman to really understand what's going on here. But um, I really do appreciate every little piece that they're doing. Here's going to be the full list, right? This is the crossover list. So we've seen Spider-Woman, Alpha 1. I did a review on that. Spider-Gwen, I did not do a review on. Silk, and I'm going to skip Spider-Woman number 6 more than likely, but I'm not really sure. And then uh, you can see right there, that's, that's four a month. Really awesome idea. Now, the problem is you have to pay for all these, obviously, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's a little bit short for the price that we're paying. Considering that we're going to pay $4 um, four times, so $16 with tax, let's call it 20 bucks a month, right? That's a lot of money just to buy this particular store. That doesn't include Saga that I'm reading. That doesn't include Old Man Logan or anything else that you're going to be reading in the future. You know, so $20, in my opinion, is a little bit much. I'd like to see it maybe $3 mark or extend the pages, at least five pages, but I understand Marvel does want to make that dollar bill off us. And they're doing a really good job of doing that. All in all, I'd give this issue a solid 8 out of 10. It wasn't phenomenal. It was pretty good, though. It could be better. Um, but really, the art, man, that's what's bringing it down. Here you're going to see the silk that I knew and that everybody loved. This was the silk that was drawn. And we thought, wow, look at her, man. She looked great. Everything about her was cool. But now they're hitting us with this. And don't just say she was in costume, okay? Because she looked way cooler out of costume in the original Silk series. So all in all, I would recommend it. And uh, let me know if you picked this up. Are you going to read this series? Have you been reading this series? Does it look interesting to you? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching this video. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of my video. Make sure to check out some of my other comic book reviews like the Black Panther issue number one. And below that, Moon Knight issue number one. Both of these are brand new comics. They're really great. I enjoy them even more than Gwenpool, and I think you'll enjoy it too. Make sure to subscribe, and also check me out on my social media. Until next time, everybody, I'm Comic DJ, signing out.